let's talk about George Kittle. So team building, he's a leader. He's there most of the time, but he never practiced from what I saw. He didn't do go through drills. The Niners are being very cautious with, with George Kittle. Um, and they're being cautious with other people too, Trent Williams, Fred Warner. But Kittle always was the guy who practiced all the time and was the guy who sort of led by example, was the energy guy. He didn't do this last He was out there last year. And this is a whole new approach to George Kittle. And I think it's very interesting because all offseason we've been talking about how he's starting to pick up injuries. Okay. How old is he? 28, going on 29. 28 and a half. 28 and a half. Okay. Here's what I want to say. Given that he's beginning to get injured, i.e. breaking down a little bit. Fair right. enough? Right. Yes. I think Kyle is absolutely correct to spare him and yeah. not to make him work in these drills. Having said that, it's troubling. Yeah. I, I, If I were the coach, I would do exactly the same thing, but I would be troubled that I had to do it. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's something you want to do for your 35-year-old left tackle. He doesn't need to practice. He's the best player in the league, and he's in his 30s. Uh, 28 year old tight end. Oof. I mean, they didn't do that for him last year. This is a whole new, and I guess, you know, if his injuries are coming when he's running, maybe you want him to do less running in the off season, make sure he doesn't get hurt running in July. I mean, June, I would do the same thing too. But again, this is why I was in favor of trading him this off season. Do you really want to make these accommodations for your very, you know, MVP, $16 million a year tight end? Uh, no, no. I'd rather have someone young that can practice. Iggy, on this I agree with you. Yeah, I would. I would trade him. Would have right. traded him. And again, sometimes I try to channel Bill Walsh. I don't know if I can. I mean, what the hell? I can't even channel my wife. But um, I think Bill would have gotten rid of him. Yeah. I know how Bill thought. And I think once a player started to break down, Bill would say, "I can get uh, draft capital for this guy. I can find someone else to do what he does, or two people." Yeah. To one to block, one to catch passes. Right. Uh, I don't want someone I can't be uh, fully dependent on. Um, so uh, I understand they're they're resting uh, Fred Warner. I understand they're resting Trent Williams and Bosa pretty much as well. Yeah. Although he does things, Bosa. He does right? things. Yes, he does things. Yeah. Yeah. But but Kittle is sort of a spectator. He, yeah. He's a passenger on the bus. Yeah. And and I I, I find it a correct strategy, but in uh. A, a one that would, if I were a coach, would make me very uncomfortable. It's usually how you treat players in their 30s, like yeah. Alex Mack. You're 37, man. Thanks for being here. We don't need you. You're trying to preserve 28-year-old George Kittle. That's what you're doing. You're trying to preserve him. You're at the yeah. preservation yeah. part of his career. Well, I'd rather just I'd rather just trade him for what? Because his, his trade value, theoretically, if he's slowly declining, is only going to go down. So I'd rather trade him while his value is high rather than, rather than wait a year. After he gets hurt again, theoretically, maybe has 800 yards instead of nine. I mean, I'm just saying, but Matt, hold on. Let's try to be positive here. Maybe this is the adjustment that George Kittle needs to have one more elite season before he hits his 30. Fair maybe, maybe this is actually what he needs. Fair enough. Yeah. And, and again, I think Kyle is shrewd. Right. Uh, I think in terms of football, he strikes me as, as high IQ. Yes. And, and maybe this is his way to get Kittle – uh, to get them to a Super Bowl and for Kittle to be one of the key factors to get them to a Super Bowl. And if that's the case, I would say Mazel tov. 